I just want to be the first to welcome everybody tonight. Uh, we've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. We're here to celebrate two very special people, Matt and Becca. And although we're missing Jack, Janet, and Caitlin, I feel that their spirit is here with us and they would want this to be a celebration. We've been friends, we are like brothers, and you know, we've known each other for more than 25 years. We've been together through our best times and through our most challenging times. As brothers, I think that means that we are really part of each other's families. Becca, not that you needed you know, this speech to know, but you are obviously welcome into all of our families. Bruce and Sarah, thank you guys so much. Your generosity making this weekend happen is great. More importantly, raising such a wonderful daughter. Special shout out to Bruce for teaching Becca the perfect jump shot, <laughs> which I got to see on one of our first dates when we went to the gym and shot hoops, and that, that's when I knew. Which brings me to Rebecca, my beautiful bride-to-be. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow. Cannot be more proud or excited to marry him. We have so much to look forward to in our lives together. I love you, and I just can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> Becca's asked me, I think, 20 to 30 times so far, do you think everyone's having fun? Do you think everyone's having fun? <laughs> so we just hope everyone's having fun. It's going to be a great weekend. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Dear Matt, happy wedding day. Today I woke up feeling so blessed and happy that I get to marry the love of my life and my best friend. You have so many wonderful qualities that I truly admire. Kindness, generosity, humor, sincerity, and integrity, just to name a few. I'll make you an incredible man that I feel lucky to soon call my husband. I'm so excited for the family we are starting today. I look forward to all the adventures, surprises, and fun life has in store for us. I can't wait to see you. I love you. Love, Becca. Becca, I am so happy this day is finally here. I'm so excited to become your husband and have been looking forward to this for 17 short months. <laughs> I'm so thankful that we met each other and that you gave me a chance to take you to that Knicks game. It was the start of the happiest time of my life. I still don't think you believe me, but after we shot hoofs at the BSC, <laughs> I knew I was going to marry you. Falling in love with you was great. But continuing to be in love with you and being loved by you is the biggest thrill I can imagine. Today is going to be so special and I can't wait to enjoy every second of it with you. You are going to be an incredible wife, mother, and partner for life. And I will do my best each and every day to make you as happy as you make me. I love you, Matt. Two people come together today to be united in the sacrament of marriage. But we believe that it's not only two people coming together, but the bringing of two families together. Every relationship comes together in unique ways, sometimes with twists and turns or all kinds of things, but it's unique, it's unique to you. Rebecca and Matthew, I hope that you will be able to continue to Thank God every day for your life together as you begin it today as husband and wife. And we believe that something happens today more than just uh, the legal arrangement of marriage and, and tradition and family and all that, but something else happens. A miracle, we say. A miracle happens in the sacrament of marriage. When you pronounce your marriage vows and that covenant is then sealed between you, 
You no longer are two single people, but you become a married couple. And so together with your families, your parents who are so proud of you and all the friends here and all of the bridal party uh, who are proud of you today and happy for you, let that happiness accompany you down that aisle when you leave here today and take all of that with you as your history continues and yet begins as husband and wife. Please stand to greet our bride. I'm Matthew, take you Rebecca to be my wife. I'm Matthew, take you Rebecca to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Rebecca, take you Matthew to be my husband. I, Rebecca, take you Matthew to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. celebrated the sacrament of marriage in the church. You have fulfilled your duties according to the law in the state of New York. We, your family, friends, and bridal party, and everyone here who has witnessed this now pronounces you husband and wife and the part that hopefully you've practiced for well, the kiss. Congratulations. That's for you. What I really admire about my brother, and the two things came to mind immediately, and one is that he's kind. And it's not because he was brought up well, even though he was. It's genuine kindness, and it's your nature. And you're a kind and caring man. And the other thing that I admire about you is that you're happy, which is hard to do. It's hard to be happy. And I have to now bring Becca into the equation here, because I know that you are a big part of the reason that he's happy. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for making my brother happy. our younger sister, we actually look up to her in so many ways. 
Her kindness, loyalty, independence, loving and giving nature are all qualities that we admire in her. Matt is exactly the person we would hope that our baby sister would marry and are so happy to officially welcome our new brother into the family. We love you both so much and wish you a lifetime of happiness. Quote a great urban lyricist by the name of Christopher Wallace. Stay far from timid, only make moves when your heart's in it. <laughs> and live the phrase, the sky's the limit. Because your future is, is gonna be so bright and, and wonderful and I'm happy to be part of it. So cheers.